Hello, today we are going to see how to paint a graphical report using the Escobol IDE and its function to paint graphical reports. To start with, I have here the Escobol IDE, I have a screen program over here. This screen program contains a initial screen to, with a button to print uh, the report. In order to create the report, I could right-click here, the client's report, and say New Report over here. Then in the client's report, I'm going to include a report with this name, Report2. In this case, I already have a report created over here, so I'm going to cancel here. But if I click Finish, then I could get this painter over here and then I could uh, paint the report over here. We will come back to this in a moment. In order to um, fill data uh, to the report, you may need uh, one or more data files or just uh, data from working storage if you want. In this case, we are going to use one data file. So here, let me show you in the file tab, I have in this FDSL copybook uh, folder these two FD and SL copybooks. If I show you here the SL and the FD, you can see I have a uh, standard select for an in index file, for a client's file, and a few keys, and the FD shows a few fields for each client, the code, the name, the city, and a couple of more things. These two copybooks then, I am going to include in the screen program in this file section area. In the file section I'm going to say the FD file I need to use is link copy file from the project source path in the FDSL, the CLI FD. Since I already have it there, I'm going to click cancel and it, it gets it here. For the uh, select, I do the same, link copy file and I repeat the same operation to get the SL copybook over here. This means now I can open and read data from that data file in this screen program. The next thing then is when I uh, click the print uh, button, uh, let me double click it here to go to the link to procedure and the link to procedure is this, I say perform IES report one preview. This paragraph name is very special. It always starts with IS dash and it ends with dash preview to go to the preview function of this. And this report one over here is the name of the report that I want to preview. And this name is exactly the name I have here, report one. Then uh, that's, um, that's what I need over here, over there. The next thing is, um, how to paint the report. Then I go here to the uh, report painter and I can see I already have most of the report already painted with different sections. I have the page header, a group header, a break uh, uh, by city and the detail area. How to include more data over here? Well, um, in here I can see the first field I have is based on the client uh, code the last field that I have is based on a date, an edit date, and here I may need the client name to say something. So I'm going to right click this empty area and say I want to get data from the data pool. The data pool shows me all the data or, or all the items from the working storage and from the FD. The FD is now uh, with this record only and I am going to include the client name. So I'm going to drag and drop the client name from here to here and say OK or cancel. It is already there. I'm going to remove this label over here because I already have here the client name heading. I'm going to position this to a place I want it. And now I am going to change a property for this, the border style from box to no box. And that's it. I have it there. And the next thing is create a label for the co for, for the title, the, the report title. So I'm going to draw a label over here and then double click and say I want this to be the client's report. 
and then this client's report label I can say the justification is gonna be center and that's it so I have it there this section over here this um, uh, control uh, CD uh, break is created by right clicking an empty area on the report and then going to the section controller in the section controller I can select to include a report header, a report footer, or a page uh, header and footer. In this case, I just want the page header over there with uh, these uh, labels over there. And uh, for the group section, I can say I want uh, as many groups as I want. This would be the main group, then a, a subgroup inside it, and another subgroup inside the second subgroup, and so on. In this case, uh, you can click uh, the plus button to add a new group and, uh, and this is already in there this is a new group based on a field the WS control city client uh, variable we are going to see how we populate this variable and I'm going to say OK when I say OK and, and create a new group this uh, section over here will appear on the painter and I may include there the uh, labels uh, that I want to include or the um, entry fields or data fields that I want to include in order to paint these lines over here, I would select the line from the palette, the line control, and just uh, paint the lines that I need. In this way, I paint the report. Now, mm, let's go to the event paragraph and check this uh, special paragraph here, the process report reading loop. This is a special uh, custom paragraph that allows me to query the data or grab the data from uh, whatever uh, or, or whatever sources I want to get it from and then uh, print that data on every detail of the of the record of the report sorry then um, in here I open the file I perform an open file uh, paragraph and then I will close the file and in the middle I am going to start the file by a specific key the key that I'm going to use to start is based on the city and uh, the city name and the code of the um, of the client and then if the key is invalid for the start I will just continue doing nothing else or if uh, the key is not invalid it is it is a good key then I'm going to perform um, this loop this is this looks like an infinite loop but it is not because I'm going to read sequentially the client's file and at the end of the client's file I'm going to exit the perform and uh, for every successful read I am going to move the date that I read from the record to an edit date so it looks with um, the uh, appropriate um, separators for date and uh, then uh, I am going to move the client city to the WS control city client which is the break control uh, variable that I use in the report over here this WS control city client and um, then I move it there and when I am ready to print this um, detail record I do a perform to a very special paragraph this is dash and it should end in do print routine and in the middle I have the name of the report again the report one so this is a very special name to use and that's it in that way I am sending um, every record that I am reading from the data file to uh, print a report um, detail and the report handling routine uh, that is going to, gen to be generated by the IDE will uh, consider when it needs to uh, include a um, group header or a page header when, every, uh, when a page is filled. Then um, this is um, all I need here. I am going to save uh, the changes to this report I am going to generate this report over here. I generate the program, then open the CVL that gets generated. So this is the report that gets generated. And at the end, in this uh, report one master print loop, I need to perform my custom paragraph to read the, the data from the data file. In here, I could have as many uh, statements that I want. It is very important to include all these custom statements outside the tags this there is this begin tag and tag another begin tag and tag and outside those tags i include this uh, custom 
statement. This custom statement is to be included only once, only the first time I generate this. Next times in time it will not be necessary. Then this process report reading loop is exactly the paragraph that I have here, process report reading loop, and in that way I make the association to my custom code. So once I have this here, I may compile it here and um, it is going to it clean compile, no errors, and then I am ready to run this. I can run it from here or run it from the main uh, definition. I can say run as is code application, then it uh, shows me the dialog to print the client report. I say print and it is going to invoke the preview, the print preview functionality, which is a built-in function uh, inside the Scoble runtime. It includes the whole report that it uh, generated. You can see I have several detailed records. I have um, city breaks for every different city these records belong to. I have the headers. I have the, the page header, the, the, the report header, and so on. So this is uh, how easy it is to paint a graphical report using the Cobol IDE and using its um, report painter, GUI report painter. Thanks for your attention.